Welcome to Film Go Go Go. Jackie Chan, the legendary martial artist, actor, and filmmaker, has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema with his unique blend of jaw-dropping action, heartwarming comedy, and unparalleled dedication to his craft. In this video, we delve into the first era of Jackie Chan's illustrious career, spanning from 1978 to 1987, and bring you a curated list of his 10 epic movies that are worth watching. Number 1 Snake and Crane Arts of Shaolin, 1978 This film is one of Jackie Chan's early works. The film follows a simple storyline of happiness, misfortune, martial arts learning, and revenge. Despite the movie sticking to a conservative style and lacking any significant innovation in the plot, it offered Jackie Chan considerable creative freedom in character development and martial arts choreography. In the film, Jackie Chan's basic action style and design did not completely break away from the conventional norms of most kung fu movies of that time. However, whether in dramatic or action scenes, Jackie Chan's face carried more smiles and ease. Especially in certain action details and group fight scenes, there were traces of the early Jackie Chan's humorous martial arts style, featuring some clever tricks and maneuvers. Although Jackie Chan had not fully developed his own distinct style in this movie, it was a learning process for him, where he grasped how to control the pace of a film and how to narrate a complete story, laying a solid foundation for his future endeavors as a director. Thus, one could consider this film as Jackie Chan's practice piece. True fans of Jackie Chan might be able to see the youthful aspects of his early action and performances, as well as catch a glimpse of how he gradually developed his unique style of humorous martial arts with a comedic touch. Number 2 Snake in the Eagle's Shadow, 1978 Snake in the Eagle's Shadow, a defining Hong Kong action comedy of 1978, marked Yuan Wuping's directorial debut, a name later renowned worldwide for his mastery of action choreography. The film's narrative revolves around the intense rivalry between two martial arts schools, the Eagle Claw Clan and the Snake Fist Clan, both determined to annihilate each other. The character Chen Fu, portrayed by Jackie Chan, introduces the ingenious snake and cat fist kung fu style, a fusion of cat claw precision and snake-like strikes. The movie is highlighted by memorable scenes, including the entertaining bowl snatching contest and the gripping initial showdown between Chen Fu and the formidable leader of the Eagle Claw Clan. Jackie Chan's comedic brilliance takes center stage, significantly contributing to the film's resounding success. With Snake in the Eagle's Shadow, Jackie Chan embarked on an exciting trajectory of crafting humorous yet action-packed films, distinct from the legacy of Bruce Lee, which would become a hallmark of his illustrious cinematic journey. While Yuan Wuping's directorial debut displayed some flaws in cinematic language, his expertise in action sequences shines brilliantly. Beyond the screen, the movie's influence extended to Japanese manga. Yuan Xiao Tian's portrayal of Pai Chang Tian became the model for Sun Gohan's beloved grandfather in Dragon Ball, crafted by Akira Toriyama. Similarly, Huang Chingli Su Xiao Yun inspired the character Tao Pai Pai within the same innovative Dragon Ball universe. Number 3. Drunken Master, 1978. Drunken Master is a masterpiece in the history of martial arts comedy films. Directed by Yuan Wuping, it stars Jackie Chan, Yuan Xiao Tian, and Huang Zhang Li, among others. The film has earned its place in the Best 100 Chinese Motion Pictures by the Hong Kong Film Awards Association, 2005, and the Top 100 Chinese Language Films of All Time at the Taipei Golden Horse Film Festival, 2010. This creation, crafted by the same team behind Snake and the Eagle's Shadow, represents one of Jackie Chan's most iconic works from the early 1970s. Drunken Master not only achieved tremendous success in the market but also maintained a high standard of filmmaking. Building upon the experience gained from Snake in the Eagle's Shadow, Drunken Master retained the distinctive Snake-style kung fu while simplifying the story background and subplots, allowing the audience to quickly grasp the narrative amidst the martial arts action. The film not only advanced the comedic elements but also boasted a rich and compelling script. With its seamless plot, thrilling action sequences, and ample humor, Drunken Master stands as a true classic. Through this film, Jackie Chan bid farewell to his previous struggles with box office performance, embarking on a journey towards becoming a cinematic superstar. His transformation from an ordinary and overlooked actor into an internationally renowned celebrity was truly remarkable. Number 4 The Young Master 1980 The Young Master stands as a testament to Jackie Chan's exceptional directorial and acting abilities, seamlessly blending comedy and kung fu to secure the title of 1980 Hong Kong box office champion. Chan's incorporation of humor and creative use of everyday objects contribute to the film's authenticity and entertainment value. 
Demonstrating a comprehensive mastery of martial arts, the young master intricately weaves combat techniques, acrobatics, and props into its fabric. The movie's fight sequences serve as a showcase of Chan's innovation and skill, offering a diverse range of distinct scenes throughout. His engaging confrontation with Mei Sheng Fan features a fan as both a visually captivating prop and an effective combat tool. The battles with Yu and Biao introduce an unexpected twist, utilizing an ordinary stool as an unorthodox yet efficient weapon, with Biao's seamless maneuvering showcasing its versatility. The encounter with Shi Kian takes an inventive approach, combining humor, evasion, and acrobatics to add depth to the fight. The film's imaginative skirt fighting scenes provide a novel perspective, elevating a seemingly mundane garment into an intriguing and formidable weapon. The climactic showdown between Jackie Chan and Huang and Sheik, who had shared the screen with Bruce Lee in Way of the Dragon, highlights in Sheik's exceptional leg techniques and precision, earning him the moniker King of Leg Attacks. This fight scene is personally recognized by Jackie Chan as one of his top 10 accomplishments. Number 5 Project A, 1983 Project A narrates the relentless pursuit of the notorious bandit by Hong Kong Marine Police Chief Ma Yao Long. This film, once again, showcases the multi-talented Jackie Chan's prowess as he takes on the roles of writer, director, and actor. Project A laid the groundwork for Jackie Chan's contemporary action comedy style while paying homage to the slapstick antics of Western silent film legends like Charlie Chaplin and Buster Keaton. The movie adeptly employs spatial dynamics, props, and physical expressions to construct action sequences that seamlessly meld humor and excitement. An exemplary instance is the thrilling bicycle chase through narrow alleyways, where the environment and props are ingeniously manipulated, resulting in a dynamically choreographed pursuit brimming with both tension and humor. <laughs> the prequel, Minions, The Rise of Gru, pays homage to the classic alley fight scene from Jackie Chan's Project A. This film also serves as the inception of Jackie Chan's audacious stunt techniques. A particularly memorable scene features him leaping from a four-story clock tower, with only makeshift cloth canopies separating him from the ground below. This scene combines elements from Harold Lloyd's Safety Last and Buster Keaton's Three Ages. The breathtaking descent was captured from various angles, with one shot presented at regular speed in the final version, another in slow motion immediately following, and a third shot, unfortunately leading to an injury due to Jackie Chan's improper landing posture, subsequently omitted from the film. The Japanese anime Gintama pays numerous tributes to the iconic moments of Jackie Chan's Project A, including recreations of the clock tower jump and bicycle riding sequences. Number 6 Wheels on Meals, 1984 Wheels on Meals presents a captivating story of three overseas Chinese youths in Barcelona, Spain, who find themselves unexpectedly tasked with rescuing the Count's daughter. This film stands as a classic work, with Jackie Chan's directorial part emphasizing more on action scenes and Sammo Hung's direction leaning towards comedy with fewer combat sequences. The movie exudes a distinct exotic charm, and its production quality and fluid storytelling were top-notch in the fast-paced world of 1980s Hong Kong cinema. The balance between humor and action in Wheels on Meals surpassed even that of Project A, making it a well-crafted piece with evenly distributed comedic elements that don't solely rely on slapstick. The dialogue embodies the essence of Hong Kong-style action comedy, blending absurdity with cleverness. The climactic duel between Jackie Chan and Jet Benny Urquidez was even ranked second by the prestigious American martial arts magazine Black Belt in their list of most spectacular fight scenes in film history. Second only to the legendary Coliseum fight between Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris in Way of the Dragon. The film is also enriched by a table battle featuring Yuan Biao, adding to its diverse and entertaining repertoire. Number 7 Heart of Dragon, 1985 The film Heart of Dragon depicts the story of Ah Di, who chooses to stay close to his mentally challenged brother and becomes a police officer to take care of him. The movie features exceptional performances, genuine emotional expressions, and clever plot development, all contributing to its status as a classic and outstanding film. However, overall, Heart of Dragon remains within the established action film framework of Jackie Chan and Sammo Hung. Jackie Chan continues to play a dedicated and daring cop, with the main storyline revolving around thwarting a criminal syndicate. While the film's key action scenes are limited to the beginning and the end, these sequences are executed with impressive precision and intensity, matching the excitement of any film featuring The Seven Little Fortunes, a reference to the group that included Jackie Chan, Sammo Hung, and Yuan Biao. The film even garnered a Hong Kong Film Award nomination for Best Action Choreography. 
Jackie Chan's emotionally charged performance enhances the authenticity of his character, particularly in a scene where he bursts into tears, his face flushed with emotion, eyes almost tearing apart, revealing a mix of helplessness and heartache. The film concludes with an MV-style artistic ending, both sincere and romantic, capturing a lifelike essence that transcends reality. It's emotionally touching without falling into clichés. Perhaps this is one of the most heartwarming artistic action films by Jackie Chan and Sammo Hung. Number 8 Police Story 1985 Police Story follows the perilous journey of Inspector Chan Kakui as he risks everything to capture a major drug lord. The film's heavy use of glass earned it the nickname Glass Story among crew members. Spectacles like the car plummeting down a hillside and the shopping mall brawl are awe-inspiring visual feast, all achieved through genuine onset action. The opening shootout in the shanty town, the high-speed car chase, and the daring bus intercept stand among the most captivating visual feasts in Hong Kong film history. The film's midsection introduces moments of humor, showcasing the boundless enthusiasm and talent of Hong Kong filmmakers at the time. The main scene, set in a shopping mall, cements its place in cinematic history. The editing, scene coordination, set design, prop utilization, and unparalleled action choreography reveal an unrelenting spirit of daring creativity. Jackie Chan indeed revolutionized action filmmaking techniques to a certain extent. His iconic leap from the mall rooftop is an indelible scene, presented through three distinct camera angles. In 2022, Hollywood's film Uncharted draws copious inspiration for its action sequences from Jackie Chan. Emulating his adeptness in leveraging the environment and everyday objects with unexpected finesse to vanquish opponents, prominently exemplified by the iconic leap from the mall rooftop. Police Story remains an iconic touchstone, not merely within Hong Kong cinema, but also as a bedrock of the action genre. For Jackie Chan, it signifies a pivotal juncture in his illustrious filmography. Number 9 Armor of God, 1987 Armor of God is a co-directed venture by Jackie Chan and Eric Song, headlining Jackie Chan, Alan Tam, and Rosamund Kwan. The story follows Count Bannon's relentless pursuit to recover the scattered pieces of the enigmatic god's armor, chronicled in an ancient Bible. This film encapsulates one of Jackie Chan's triumphant formulas from the 1980s, an exhilarating global escapade infused with martial arts mastery and seasoned with commercial comedy. The plot maintains a playful tone, interwoven with jovial exchanges between companions and a vibrant touch of new wave humor, setting it apart from Jackie Chan's prior comedic endeavors. The memorable showdowns between Jackie Chan and the quartet of fierce female warriors, his audacious bomb-laden stunt, and his breathtaking leap onto a hot air balloon have all etched themselves as emblematic action sequences. During the filming in Yugoslavia, Jackie Chan had a scene where he needed to jump from a tree onto a stone wall. After two takes, he felt his landing was lacking agility and decided on another attempt. Unfortunately, on this retake, the tree branch snapped, causing Jackie Chan's head to hit a stone, resulting in blood spurting from his ear and nose. He was immediately rushed to a local hospital. Interestingly, despite usually having short hair for the film, this incident prompted Jackie Chan to revert to his signature long-haired look, which he deemed a source of good luck. Number 10 Project A, Part 2, 1987 Jackie Chan's self-written, self-directed, and self-acted film Project A, Part 2 achieves success once again. In this sequel, Jackie Chan's character navigates a web of intricate conflicts with various groups including corrupt lawmen, revolutionary heroes, Qing Dynasty experts, and remnants of pirates. Furthermore, Project A, Part 2 draws inspiration from Shui Hark's Peking opera blues by incorporating elements of revolution. Such a plot is rare in his action comedy films. Compared to Jackie Chan's earlier works that predominantly emphasized physical action and comedy, the complexity and twists in this film's plot raise the stakes. The film excels in delivering situational comedy, particularly in the context of combat. The comedic aspects of the fight scenes are skillfully maximized. The chaotic brawl in the restaurant merely serves as an appetizer. The ballroom sequence harkens back to War and Peace, featuring fluid, extensive shots and meticulously designed dance moves that are both graceful and mesmerizing. In scenes like the hide-and-seek game within a small room, Jackie Chan's mastery of spatial comedy reaches its peak. His ability to utilize character dynamics to create dramatic tension in confined spaces is exceptional. The ultimate showdown retains the essence of police story, with the use of changing small settings within a larger scenario, employing props and martial arts techniques to the fullest. The film culminates with a homage to Buster Keaton, a fitting tribute that transcends and honors Jackie Chan's idol. As we bid adieu to this era, we eagerly anticipate part two, where we'll continue our cinematic voyage through more of Jackie Chan's iconic works. 
Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thanks for your support.